Oh my god, it was right in front of me this entire time. People call me crazy. I was a science denier. I denied the evidence. They're wrong. I know they are. It was true all along. Today's the day I get to prove them wrong. The government's been trying to hide this truth from us for a long time. I can't believe I'm about to say this, but... The Earth is flat. Even Dr. Shaquille O'Neal joins the Flat Earth Movement. Even Shaquille O'Neal agrees. Even Yahoo described it. Even this questionably gay guy with a star between his nipples and one questionably close to his penis agrees that the Earth is flat. And I can't hide under a blanket of lies forever. Knowledge isn't always truth. The government's been trying to hide this from us. There's overwhelming evidence that this is actually the case. It's time to speak out against the government's lies that they've been ingraining in our minds over and over again. We're taught from a young age. Yet people still don't believe me. It's about time that I spread the truth. I can't remain silent for any longer. I've been taught lies. I can prove that. Way. <sighs> There's no way. It makes too much sense. Something's wrong, and I don't like it. I just have to tell Steve. I have to reveal the truth. I just... I just can't. I have to tell Steve. He just doesn't know the truth. I'll do it tomorrow. I've got to get a good night rest. Well, I guess now's the time. <sighs> ah, take a seat, man. I have something really important to tell you, and I think it's necessary that you know. What do you want? I've got important research to do, and this better be pretty good. <sighs> Alright. You know, I just... I've realized the truth about a controversial issue. So, you know, I, um... I wanted to tell you the truth. I wanted to really bring to light what, you know, I've seen and know. And there's, like, a, there's a lot of evidence of this, you know. Honestly, people don't think there is, but there just is so much trustworthy evidence. Mm, I see. Uh, so many sources to back it up. And, you know, the government would kill me if they... You know, they're hiding so many things, they would kill me if they knew that I was talking about them like this, but... I'm risking my life for you. I'm in a community of people, you know? We believe in something that, uh, like, only only the elite would... You know, the elite would come after us if I really uh -huh. told you straight up. Like, you know, there have just been a lot of people who have questioned my intellect, and obviously, my knowledge is superior. How else... Do you think just, I got a D me. plus in science? Yes, just tell me already. But I'm gonna risk, you know, my life for you. Like the government would literally kill me if I um said this anywhere else. They have a lot to hide. I know, I know. That's but, pretty um, intense. Um, I mean, you're the smart one. <laughs> I'm not the smart character here. If it's really that important. Just tell me. So it just so happens to turn out that the Earth is flat. And look, I know this is weird to hear, but, like, there are flat earthers all over the globe. Those who believe that the Earth is a sphere... Are you a fucking idiot? Those who believe the Earth is a sphere are, like, they're stupid. You can't be serious. You interrupted my important research fact. Dude, seriously? I thought of all people, you would believe this. <laughs> what do you mean, out of all people? 
I'm supposed to be the stupid care. Oh, that that's... That's why. God, you globetards will believe anything that you hear. How... <laughs> How do you believe this? <laughs> My knowledge is obviously superior to yours. I know the facts. I see, I've seen the facts. NASA's a lie. It's all special effects, dude. I don't know. You're making me feel good about myself. Really. Seriously. Dude, it's special effects. Everything. The moon landing wasn't real. I was doing research, you freaking idiot. Dude, I have the proof. I have the proof. You want, you want to see? Why are we bringing this back? Why? I'm supposed to be the fucking stupid character. I'm supposed to be the one who's dumber than you, not the one who actually has common sense. How can you sense? not know that? God, such an idiot. Dude, I have the proof. The only proof I see here is why your mom should have gotten an abortion. This must be a glitch in the Matrix or something. This just can't be happening. Listen, listen, listen. There's so much proof to back it up. I expected to have this conversation with you. God. I have the proof. You want, you want to see? Really have that reasonable of proof? Show me. Come on. All right, I'm down. Show me. Show me. If you, show Come me. On. Come with me. Want to see my proof? I'm supposed to be the fucking stupid one. Dude, there's a dome over a spinning duh. All right. Here it is. Fucking door. And look out. Not even the fucking ground is flat. Yeah, the ground isn't flat. Be if you look at the goddamn though. stars, you see that they were moving in the sky. How? Jeez, man. You're actually <sighs> being stupid. Like, you're the stupid character. You're always the wrong. Constellations. Just, just admit your wrong moods. Food. And they, they aren't even in the same place. How, how is this even. Uh, I'll just fucking. Let's see this idiocy. Okay, let's go. You won't be disappointed. See this, pr S Steven? I know you're pulling a prank on me, and if it's not that, it's some kind of social experiment, isn't it? Jesus Christ! What was that? What was that? How come there aren't even clips of you? It's because I sold my soul to the Flat Earth Society. Wait, what? What? It's not a big deal, oh god. Whoa! Barely saw you there, over the curved horizon of the spheric earth. Welcome to the best episode of creative content yet. I'm pumped for this. This is going to be the easiest one yet. You know, I don't hate flat earthers, believe it or not. I mean, I have nothing against them. I just have, you know, something against, you know, using religion against science. There's a reason why our state and church separated. It wasn't that the churches were using all their donated money for personal needs and not actually giving it to the church away. But the earth is still flat because um, the Bible says so. You know, 2017 has really honestly been the year of just backtracking a lot. First, it was Trump's presidency. And I mean, okay, I get it. You have different beliefs. You like to see KKK members and Nazi march on the street. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fine, dude. Fine. Yeah. You know, just keep it out of pretty much any area with the people they're marching against because, you know, they would probably fucking kill all them. And then Trump would pardon them somehow. <laughs> Enough of politics shit. I mean, god damn it, my fucking green screen, little bitch. There we go. Huh, that reminds me. This weird thing called gravity. I don't know, a lot of people really haven't heard of it before, apparently. Like, I don't blame you, I don't blame you. You know, it's like, it's not an education, really. You don't really get educated about gravity at all. And, you know, the flat earth has, uh, never been proven wrong. God says the flat earth is real, so, um, it obviously must be real, guys. To be real here, I'm being, um, paid by a ton of shills to make this video. I'm being paid by Barack Obama, um, being paid by John McCain, ooh, ooh, I'm being paid by the spicy Sarah Palin, I wonder if she's a flat earther, I swear to fucking god, why did I actually predict it, I just looked her up and she was on a TV show that talked about how the earth was flat, can I actually fucking kill myself now, are you actually gonna trust somebody who was bribed by fossil fucking fuel companies, <laughs> these are probably the same people that said tobacco wasn't bad for you, you know, I also think it's really interesting that 
they actually, you know, have flat earthers going up to people who work at companies like NASA, SpaceX, all those major, you know, space exploration companies, and they go up to them, and that's pretty normal at first. I want you to swear Get to God on the Bible me. that you walked on the moon. The moon okay? If you walked on the moon, we're given the opportunity to swear to God that you walked on the moon. See, if a, a flat earther was, went up to me, and you know, they spoke reasonably with me, and they would listen to what I had to say, then maybe I really wouldn't mind it so much. If you shove a Bible up to my face, and you're trying to make me put my hand on it, put my other hand on my heart, and, you know, say I went to space or whatever, and, like, I'm a scientist. First of all, scientists are absolutely not religious. And from what I've heard, it's more than 98% of scientists are not religious at all. Alrighty, guys. Sorry for looking one way, but, like, it's, it's really weird. Like, the, I have my computer over there because my camera's in front of me. You probably get it. Anyway, we are going to watch 1,000... Oh, no. Not even 1,000, man. 1 million percent proof that the Earth is flat. Alright, here we go, guys. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna listen to him. Now y'all always know I keep shit real, man. And this shit right here I'm about to tell y'all, I knew for a little minute I just didn't never really say that. But I think it's appropriate time to say this shit. Okay, we got B.O.B. who believe the earth flat. But I'm gonna prove this shit. Us saying that we automatically get looked at like the crazy people because you were brought, you were taught to believe as a child that the earth was a fucking ball. Alright, so we were taught as a child, right? But the flat earth conception actually came before the spherical earth conception. And you are actually right, the earth isn't a sphere. It's very close to a sphere, but nothing is ever a perfect sphere. There's always some sort of patch that makes a sphere imperfect. The most perfect sphere is in some kind of laboratory. This guy named Veritasium on YouTube was really one of the only people who ever got to touch it. But yeah, the earth is not a sphere, it's a spheroid, I believe it's called. And that means that it's very similar to a sphere. Here, but go on. That motherfucker flat. I'ma pull this shit. Number one, it's in the Bible. The Bible is true. This is the realest book you ever fucking read. Genesis chapter one, verse six. Yes, this has to be sarcastic. There's no way. Hold up, hold up, hold up. There's like, is there? What? Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. This guy's actually serious. Hold up. Hold up. No, no, no. We're gonna watch this. We're gonna fucking watch. This guy's actually serious. Hold up. And God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, and let it divide the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament, and divided the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament, firmament and this was so. You know how many books say there's a fucking dome around Earth? The goddamn Hunger Games had a dome. Does that mean there's a dome around Earth? Ooh, guys, the Hunger Games, uh, they had a dome, and uh, in Divergent, they were in an experiment, which means that we're on a domed Earth that's actually an experiment that failed. Science really can't explain that. What these people do is they list their sources and stuff, right? What I have to give them props for, right? Takes a good guy to do that. But at the same time, from my experience, they want you to prove the Earth is round before they start pr proving the Earth is flat. And one of their main sources is a book written 3,500 years ago, aka the Bible, which has been proven to be wrong many, many times, and what also, you know, condoned slavery in the original version, and prevented gay people from getting rights. So are you actually going to trust a source that pretty much says half of humanity are pieces of shit and deserve to be owned as slaves? Because I really don't think we should be trusting that. You don't believe me? Look at this rocket with a GoPro camera on it, and watch how it just stop in the middle of nowhere. We can't get out this motherfucker. and fastest amateur rocket ever launched. Oh, amateur. Okay, I was gonna... Okay, at least that's accurate, I think. I don't fucking know. What the fuck is even going on, dude? It's so, like making me nauseous. Um, that doesn't. What? <laughs> that does not compute. See that? Can't leave. Notice when NASA launches a space shuttle, it never goes straight up. It always go up, 
than turd. I'm not a rocket scientist here, all right? But I know for a fact it has something to do with the Earth's rotation and trying to use the Earth's rotation to their advantage in order to reach the proper destination with the proper set of coordinates. <laughs> I challenge you, okay? Have somebody you know, maybe even yourself, go to NASA, actually go to NASA, okay? Like, look at all the scientific information, actually get a job there, apply for a job there, all right? Wear those sunglasses with those those hidden cameras. You know the, the, the people at PETA wear when they go into those animal testing laboratories? Not even saying PETA is a good organization, I'm just saying, like, the ones that animal rights people wear when they go into, like, factory farms or whatever. Wear a pair of those, okay? And then, if you release something well, they have these shit calculations and nothing really happens and they say something happens then you actually have evidence you're saying that rockets flying away from earth at an arc is evidence but i mean there are so many ways that you could say no that's not true i mean the earth's rotation could definitely be a factor in that and i guarantee it is why else would they not launch it straight up? That would not make any sense. Plus, I've been at a live rocket launch before, and it did not look fake, believe me. Of course it wasn't, you know, one of the fucking massive ones, like, you know, the Apollos, because I wasn't even alive back then. Granted, I saw, I think I've actually seen two. I saw one from an airport, and that one actually did go straight up, from what I could see. It did not curve. I also saw another one pretty close to the NASA base. So believe me, I've seen two rockets launch, and I'm not just saying this because, oh, I've seen two videos of rockets. No, I'm saying I've actually seen rockets launch, like, in front of me. And what this guy's saying, okay, maybe they might curve a little, but for the it looks like they're going very, very straight up for me. The ones I saw were going very straight up. They were barely curving. Yeah, Alright. Right that could very well be an error, but I still highly doubt it. I think it more has to do with the Earth's curvature and the Earth's, you know, gravitational pull. All of those factors, they make a big impact. If you're launching something from an object that's roughly spherical, spinning extremely, extremely fast, I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to make an arc to actually manage to go straight off of it, based on actual physics. Looks like it's going pretty far up to me, I don't know. Looks like it's going way past the altitude range they had, little Obama drum. <laughs> it doesn't look like anything suspicious. I don't know how they obtained the rocket back, that is still a mystery to me. But from what it sounds like, if it would have hit something, and it was going up that fast, and the camera was on top of it like we saw, and it was twirling like that, one of two things could happen. Actually, one of three things. And if you're very, very fortunate, the third would happen. Which in this case, if they happen to be, which is a very, very low chance, then I guess, congrats? First thing could happen. It could break the camera. The camera would literally just fucking break. If it's some kind of glass fucking dome or something, wouldn't that break the glass? Like, you have to think of that. I mean, what other materials do we have that are strong enough to surround something almost completely clear, make that kind of noise when objects hit them. Glass makes that kind of noise when objects hit them. I mean, I've hit objects with glass before. I've heard glasses shattered. That never shattered, first of all, which it would have shattered. I mean, come on. And the camera would have definitely broken, or at the very least, fallen off if it wasn't secured as well as I thought it was. The third thing, if you are extremely, extremely lucky, neither of those two things would happen, and somehow it would come back down? I still can't explain that, to be quite honest with you. But, I think the most probably answer to this, you know, the, the, the flat earth question, the flat earth society. So I calculated 73 miles into kilometers and it would be approximately 117 kilometers up, which means that it would be a little bit above the thermosphere. Actually, quite a bit above the thermosphere, but still not anywhere close to the exosphere, which is about 400 kilometers up from the Earth, which is 248 miles approximately. There's some, you know, decimal after that, but it doesn't really matter. It's roughly 248 miles. So that would be about 250 miles. So if you were only to go 73 miles high, that wouldn't make any sense if you were to hit some kind of dome. Also, how come we can't see a reflection on this so-called dome from the ground? That wouldn't make any sense. And if you want any more proof that the Earth is definitely not flat, there is a bridge called the Verrazano Narrows Bridge. Sorry, that name's a little bit hard to pronounce, but the Verrazano Narrows Bridge is a bridge that goes above a huge body of water, some land as well, and it is just a gigantic bridge. The bridge is miles long, and they had to actually curve it to match the curve of the Earth. 
depth or, you know, it's slightly exaggeratedly curved, admittedly, but why would they curve it? Why would they spend all that money and just all that planning time trying to come up with a good curve design if the Earth was flat? Do you think they really built a bridge to try to brainwash us into thinking that the Earth is a different goddamn shape? That doesn't make any sense whatsoever. It's for the safety of the people going across it, because arch bridges work better, especially since the Earth is so freaking close to being absolutely spherical. I just don't know how anybody can look at that and call it a blatant lie. You can argue that maybe, you know, it's for design reasons to make it look cool, but then again, why would you spend all all that time and money and energy trying to come up with a nice curved bridge when you could just do one flat that would probably look a million times nicer. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And just to prove that it actually isn't for design, it is the longest suspension bridge in the whole entire United States, or at least it was when it was built in 1964. Honestly, it just doesn't make any sense why they would just build this massive bridge. It's such a huge area. Why would you spend so much time making sure that it's like almost a perfect arc when you could just build it flat and, you know, be sure that it would be sturdy? There's one simple answer to that, and that is because it would not be as sturdy. I know companies are greedy, right? But I'm gonna fit this into here. Companies don't really give a shit about people, let's be quite honest here. I mean, obviously some companies do, it's not all companies, just most of the companies most of the time really don't give a fuck about anybody. Even if they really didn't care about the safety of the people, they probably would have still done it because they don't want to get their asses sued. It just makes sense any way you think of it. If you have an intelligent response to that, I'm more than willing to hear it. You know, anybody who has an intelligent response or, you know, if you think it's intelligent, you know, I'll hear you out. At least I'll try to hear you out. But, um, I don't know. It just wouldn't make any sense for the Earth to be flat in that circumstance either. I don't... I, how? Just how? Just how? I mean, you fucking fly something 73 miles up and you're like, the Earth is flat, guys! <laughs> you haven't seen it from any farther than 73 goddamn miles! How does it feel to not see the Earth from more than 73 miles up? But yeah, thank you guys once again for watching, and I will see you in the next episode of Creative Content, which will either be, you know, something along the lines of fandoms, or a part two of this, more preferably. So yeah, see you later. Bye!